All right, so we go to the last example. Okay, so calculate the MPN value by the Thomas equation. By the Thomas equation, is that the right English? Oh, never mind, okay. Calculate the MPN value by using Thomas equation. Right, they have five different samples. Okay, it could be from different river, river A, river B, river C, river D or river E. Or even if they come from the same river, but the A, B, C, D, E could be at different sampling points. Perhaps all these are about at the upstream and the other one is at the uh, downstream. Okay, so uh, what I'm trying to say, we have different samples, five different samples. Right, look at these samples. For sample A, okay, for one ML sample, they put at the five test tubes, right? So from out of five test tube, all five give positive results. That's what it means, five over five. That means five positive results out of five test tubes. And then when they do the dilution, 0 0.1 ml, still you got five positive out of five test tubes. And then when they do the dilution for 0 0.01, but this one, they have different results. They no longer got five positive, but now only three positive. And the other two is negative results. And do another dilution, and then the number of positives become less. Okay, now you have only one positive and four negative results. So you need to choose three positive combinations. Remember example two, you've got three positive combinations, four, four, two. So for this case, although you've got like four results, or even 100 results, or five results, or whatever, you still have to choose three positive combination okay the problem is which three that you want to choose is it five five three or five three one they've got to be, they've got to take in, in in order right okay they just cannot simply just take any one that they like like this one or this one or that one no they cannot do that it's got to be in order so which one do you want to choose either five five three or five three one but they have already given you the answer that they, that is five three one. Okay. How come it they choose five three one? Okay, we we take or we choose five three one combination because this is where the changes start to happen. Okay. Okay, the changes start to happen. What I mean is like this: when you have a zero point one ml sample you got five positive results out of five test tubes okay so that is when you use 0 0.1 ml when you use 1 ml you also give five positive results right okay doctor okay thank you okay. when they use 0 0.1 they got five positive results okay thank you and then when they use 1 ml they got also five positive results let's assume if we use 10 ml 10 ml of sample how many positive results do we get do you think five five okay and then if you are using 100 ml five also five also so it's not significant okay as the greater number of volume that you are using let's still give five 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 <coughs> excuse me so we will take the positive combination where you can see the first change okay from here to here there is a change okay from five to three and that's why they take this positive combination five three one and not five five three okay five five three is insignificant okay not very significant so that's why you got five three one okay let's we let us solve uh the mpn uh, value for sample a okay so i need uh, i hope that you guys can refer to the table because i can no longer refer to the table once once i point out to the my whiteboard so i hope you can help me with that all right okay all right i forgot that okay we're going to solve question sample a okay sample a remember sample a so we are writing about mpn over 100 ml okay the combination was um five three one it is the positive combination okay it says okay 
the atomic equation will always times 100 number of positive tubes okay atas dia okay so you need to times number of positive positive tubes is 100 so we have this combination 531 right when you have this kind of combination 531 you ignore 5 don't take 5 at all do we do it okay so 3 plus 1 we have 4 square root of ml of negative okay right ml of negative right since we have ignored this five so we do not consider it at all okay so we look at three and one okay this is where you got four positive so we look at the ml of negative so ml here is three positive i mean two negative so two times 0 0.01 that means 0 0.02 one is four negative 4 times 0 0.001, that means 0 0.004. That means ML of negative is 0 0.024. Okay? 0 0.024. Okay? 0.024. And then ML of all. Okay, ML of all. So all is 5. 5 times 0 0.01, that means 0 0.05. And all for this is also 5. 5 times 0 0.001, which is 0 0.005. So this plus this, 0 0.055. So 0 0.055. Okay? So 0 0.055. Right. Can you guys try to get the answer for that? And then... Give the answer into two significant figures. Okay, that's okay. Brilliant. Okay. Eleven thousand. That is right. Eleven thousand. Okay, so very polluted water. You can see that. Like. 